Hey, look, this is future me after recording this video. So I've already done all the editing, so I can't really uh, turn the video around and now. I can't really uh, re-order uh, it. But you guys have to make sure to stay to the end because the last tips in the video are the most important. And I just realized that some people will probably leave the video before we get to them. But thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy. Hello and welcome to my video. I'm Lil Sun, and today I'm going to be doing a full comprehensive guide on Lance. I'm going to be covering movement, strings, dodges, reads, and genuinely every little tip you're going to need to improve your Lance gameplay and hopefully send you up a couple ranks. This is going to be uh, using 5 decks and 5 damage against a 5 defense opponent. And I'm not going to be covering the dodge frames for other dexes yet, but if you have any true combos for higher dexes that you can't do on lower dexes, leave it down in the comments so you can help the other people watching this video. I appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe. You don't know how much each one of you means to me. And now, let's get straight into it. I'm going to be starting with covering the basic glance kit and basic glance move. This is going to be a very quick segment because I feel like most players will already know this. Uh, you can there's a timestamp on the screen right now and you can skip past this to the combo section where I'll be covering combos but let's start with this first so neutralize is a two jab move which does not hit stacked or move your player model meaning that it doesn't have a hitbox on top of you this is a, just a quick move used in neutral a lot and does 17 damage on hit which is extremely high this move can be implemented with a dash to have a good coverage range and generally it's just a very safe move to just throw out Downlight is a shorter range move which pushes you backwards, meaning it does hit stacks or where you were before. This is a good get off me option if someone is rushing you down and it's extremely safe to throw out. You can often do it to cover yourself, a whiffed move, so if I were to do a, a different move, whiff it and I could use this because it hits in front of you with a decently high hit box and moves your character back. This is also extremely safe, you can jump out of it very safely and dodge out of it. Side light is your main combo starter on Lance. This is a grounded move that shifts your character forward, but you stay grounded and it is quite easy to punish. You will be using this move a lot because of its combo potential, but some things to note about it is its aerial hitbox doesn't really have one. It is very, very grounded move and for opponents that are grounded. On here, this puts your opponents just slightly higher than you and moves you forward. This is a combo move. And yeah, that's all to really say about it. Down air is a move which you'll be using a lot, which shifts your character diagonally down, having a lance hitbox and front of you down as well. This move again will be used a lot and has a grounded version where you uh, skim across the floor and it slows down your momentum quite a lot. This does more damage, which is a good thing to know. Hitting the floor means the move does more damage than staying in the air. And genuinely, this is a good move to move around with and a good attack. Similar to down air, side air moves your character just horizontally with no vertical movement like down air and is a horizontal attack uh, and not a diagonally down attack. This is functions the exact same as down air by shifting your player model and one thing to note is it's extremely good for recovering back to stage as this burst will make you go further than other weapons. Nair is a 360 covering move with good with good range which covers is your only move that covers above you this is easily spammable and genuinely a good move to use in neutral game as it's hard to punish and you have a lot of aerial control while using this move making it very solid recovery unlike our other recoveries is a charge move you can either let go of it straight away let go of it halfway or do the entire thing to get the most range. It has good diagonal range and extremely good diagonal hitbox in front of you as you can see on screen now. This makes it an overall good recovery and does have some things you can do with it on stage, in fact, make uh, some strings. This also kills at later percentages and is genuinely a good recovery. Ground Pound is a normal ground pound pretty much. No directional drifting with a good hitbox below you. This is quite quick and you get out of it surprisingly quick as well. Uh, using this move on stage is not recommended at all, uh, and like most ground pounds, shouldn't be used that much on stage. That is all the moves there is on Lance, and now I'm going to get into the combo section. Thank you. Silent Jump Dare is a true combo which does 30 to 29 damage depending on how fast you input it. This works from 0 to 70 damage, which is light orange, and 
is a very useful combo with high follow up potential. So I like Jump Nem, most likely will be your most used combo on Lance. It is extremely easy to input, works at almost all percentages up to probably around 200% and is extremely consistent in total. It does 28 damage and again should be one of your most used combos on Lance. This combo is a more uh, niche combo, it is set neutral light into down light. There has to be a chase dodge in between or dash depending on which one you input and they both work and can be true combos. It does 34 damage and has high follow up potential afterwards, it can lead to reads and strings after this. This again only works at 0% when you're going to have to open a stock with them. It may work with if you've hit them once only but if you want to land that consistent true combo it will only work extremely early. I recommend always going for this combo if you land a neutral light early because 34 damage and a uh, read is extremely useful. Grounded Dare to Downlight is a true combo in specific situations. Uh, you can see that I am landing this uh, down air really close to the ground here and that means I can follow up with a true combo. But if I try and do it higher, uh, I'll be stuck in end lag for too long and it will have dodge frames, as you can see. But if I land it really close to the ground, I can make it a true combo with a dash or if I space it perfectly, I can land it a true combo without a dash. Grounded side air to down light is another true combo you can do on Lance. Sometimes you have to dash and it, it only works if you space it uh, perfectly but I would suggest always going for this as at early percentages it's more free damage. This combo does exactly 35 damage and is extremely easy to execute as you just do a grounded side air off a dash or anything and then just input straight away a down light or a dash down light. Just a PSA before I start going into these strings. These strings are quick and may look like they are true or undodgeable but they can be dodged out and you can be punished when, when going for them. These will always work when the opponent doesn't have their dodge and can work when the opponent does have their dodge if you catch them off guard but remember these can be dodged. Side Light Sarah is a string that can kill at later percents and has one dodge frame. This will be have one dodge frame all the way up to high percentages and eventually will kill at later percentages. This is a rather easy to do string with one dodge frame and can often catch people off guard if they think you're going to go for a true combo. Side Light Recovery is a killing string that kills at 170% on shipwreck so probably earlier percentages on other maps as shipwreck is big but this is a one dodge frame string if inputted exactly perfectly which is very difficult and uh, is genuinely going to be your kill option if the opponent doesn't have a dodge. Side light dare is a true combat as covered earlier but after the side light dare you can input a down light. This down light you have to do chase dodge before and perfectly can be one dodge frame. I recommend going for this as uh, it's very difficult for them to punish the downlight after dodging and one dodge frame makes it extremely extremely tight. This is rather difficult to do consistently but after you have it down it's a good combo to go with at early early percentages. This is going to be two separate strings included in the same uh, part because I feel like they are so similar that I'm just going to do them both at the same time. Reverse Nair, so right at the back of Nair into Dare or Ser at early percentages can be two dodge frames. This is extremely situational and hard to do, but when landed can be quite rewarding. As you can see, I'm struggling a lot to do this here, there was two dodge frames, because it is so hard to do. You have to land the back of Nair and then perfectly drift your way to do a set. I'm only including this in the video just in case uh, it can be useful for you, but I do not recommend going for this as most likely you are going to miss it. If I turn the bot's percentage higher, it becomes slightly easier, but the fixed force on uh, Nair makes it harder to do. As you can see, now it's easy to do with two dodge frames, but at early percent, I don't recommend going for this. Those were all the really useful uh, strings, which are quite tight. The other strings uh, have more dodge frames, so I don't feel like they're worth covering, as most likely they'll get do dodged. I'm going to be covering some extremely basic reads here uh, from normal moves, and yeah, let's get into it. D-Light is a move you're going to be landing a lot and has fixed force, so I'm going to do reads off that because the read that will work at 0% will also work at 990%, meaning that these reads are going to be extremely useful. 
after a downlight, many people jump, dodge up, dodge up and in, or dodge up and away. And this read will cover it all. So, downlight into jump stair covers all of these options and also has follow ups afterwards, such as a dare. But I'm not going to be covering follow ups after the initial read because that is for you guys to decide and you guys to do yourself and experiment with. But downlight into jump stair covers this option and is extremely useful as it covers three dodges and a jump which is half of the directions they can go. The opposite to the previous read is downlight neutralite. This covers other options uh, because you can also do a downlight dash neutralite to cover away and a backup neutralite to cover in. But this is your grounded option for when landing a downlight and can be thrown out straight away so even if they do dodge or they jump you'll catch them meaning that this is very useful because of the two jabs on end light. This read is more of a reaction based read, which is a bit weird for other weapons and other weapons may not have these, but side light nair at higher percentages knocks your opponent above you and you can predict which way they're going to dodge and then charge your recovery. Then once you see which way they dodge, either left or right, uh, you can then let go of your recovery to cover all the options. This turns out to normally be a 50-50 and connects a lot of the time and can kill at later percents. I will now show you what I mean. If I turn the bot to a higher percentage, like 130, and I do side right there, I can charge my recovery and wait for them to dodge. I'll get them to dodge in, uh, I'll get them to dodge for say right, and then I'll, uh, and then side right there is your combo, and then, and I'll read one way, and then they'll drift into it. This is extremely useful when wanting to find a kill move, as surprisingly covers a lot of the time because even if they dodge up right they're most likely still going to drift into your attack a real player wouldn't just stop drifting like that after a dodge they will drift and normally hit your attack as you can see this is a more of a, a different type of read but can be very useful and kills surprisingly early Seeing how long this video is going to take, I've actually cut out some of the combos and strings which weren't as useful because I didn't want this video to be absurdly, absurdly long. But now I'm going to cover approaches and movement which is one of the most important things and I think way more important than these combos and strings which are going to be in here because it's how you land your hit and it's going to be genuinely how you win your games. So if you're going to take one thing from this video and not learn any of the combos, I think it should be this. Dash jump, fast full set. We all know what a dash jump is, I think, uh, at least it's just when you dash and jump straight away and do a quick one. A fast fall is when you hold your down key, which makes you fast, which makes you fall faster. And a dash jump fast fall kind of looks something like this. So a dash jump fast fall sir, is when you do that, but input a sir at the end, so you do kind of a gliding across the floor set. This is going to be the most important tool on Lance, and it's going to be extremely useful because side light has really easy to punish and predictable movement whereas this has less predictable movement and is extremely strong you can also get reads off this and even get game wins off this because it's even a read for like a zero to death but you can do so much off of this that it is one of the most important things you can learn on lance as a and as a lance player whenever i play lance this is probably my most used input because it's just that useful Obviously you can't get predictable and keep keep doing it because they'll learn how to space it or just jump But then even then dash jump sir will cover their jump these options make Lance, Which is a mainly aerial weapon has lots of good aerials and genuinely play in the air and move about Makes it very strong on the ground and without it Lance would be extremely weak And I highly suggest you all learning this thing another Thing with approaches look how big lance's weapon throw hitboxes you can just throw this weapon sometimes diagonal throw and this can lead you to an opening because maybe you see that they every time you hit them with a weapon throw close they'll dodge and then if if they do that then you can just get a read like this or maybe you see they uh, attack you straight away so you can jump over them wait for them attack and do something else or maybe they don't do anything after getting hit by weapon throw and you can just get some more damage I think these things uh, are going to be the most important to the video because it's going to teach you the fundamentals of Lance. This is something that I saw in a video ages ago and I forgot who it was from actually. So uh, if anyone knows the video I'm referring to, please credit them in the description so I can maybe put them in the description or the comment section. But a dash jump 
is this is a tongue twister a dash jump fast fall reverse nair this input is extremely hard but gives you so much control over your approach and it has a 360 radius and i think this is so good because you can drift so much as you can see i can approach him and then go back before my hitbox even ends by doing this this is extremely hard and it took me a while to learn even as a diamond player and i think this is useful and as you can see i can even instead of going back on myself i can just carry on going it can hit them and this uh dynamic approach as long as well as uh the end of nair having string options means that this is a surprisingly effective way of approaching and a little niche thing that you can do to improve your lance gameplay hello this is my closing statement first of all uh this video has been a lot of effort to do uh, editing and recording wise so if you would drop it a like just it doesn't take much you just give it a like and subscribe to me that would mean so much to me and hopefully you can get this video out to more people so more people can learn lance i really appreciate every one of you for watching and this guide has been extremely fun to make and enlightening for me actually i've discovered some of the true combos as i go and hopefully i've helped you leave a comment of what guide you would like to see next or what content in general you'd like to see next and i hope to see you in another one later